Hello! Today we're going to look at how we can use NX with Keyshot to quickly generate some great looking images of your product. I'm going to use a custom design of a mocha pot to present the workflow and set up a camera, materials and lighting in Keyshot. At the end I'll do a change to the geometry and see how simply we can update the geometry in Keyshot using the NX plugin. So first of all, the plugin operates with what you see is what you get principle. So I've hidden away all the parts in my assembly structure that I don't want to bring into Keyshot. So from this point, I simply click the render button in the Keyshot tab. In Keyshot, we get the model as it is seen in NX, with the same colors we have defined there on the surfaces. When I drag a material from our library over to a desired geometry, we can see that every geometry with that color will automatically be given that material. So I'll just quickly add some materials to our different models. I'll also make myself a saved camera position, so that I can move around as I please around the model and then just click on that camera again to get back to that desired angle. I'll first change the background to black for a dark atmosphere. I also want a reflective ground, so I'll add a ground plane. Double click it and, sh and change the specular color for black to a dark grey version. I then enter the HDRI editor where I can add light pins to light the model. I want to start out with a completely black studio. And then I can click add light pin and select where on the model I want the light source to hit. Now that I added an atmosphere and the lights, I'm going to go back to Annex to do a change to the handle, so that the user's hands don't get too close to the pot when they use the handle. To perform the change, I go into the handle part and do a copy-paste on the subdivision geometry that makes the handle shape. I then proceed by shaping a new suggestion to render. When I'm done shaping the new geometry, I click the drop down menu on the update button and click manual selection. This allows me to export only the geometry that has been changed to Keyshot where it will update accordingly.